I recently bought a $30 Pokemon card collection and an $1,100 Pokemon card collection. And I also have a $60 mystery box. And today we're going to see how the two stack up against each other. And as we jump into this $30 collection, I'm trying to hit 3,000 subscribers. So help me out by hitting that subscription button and that like button. As you can see, I did knock it open. Uh, it was like in a binder when I first saw it on eBay. Uh, it was listed for $60. I put in a bid for $30 just to see how it went. And uh, wow. All right. So I believe this is one of the cards that I saw that actually made me enticed to get this uh, collection. So it is the Tyranitar. Oh my goodness, this is so nice. We have a hollow Venomoth from Jungle. And then I think it was mostly like hollows. Like this is an older card. So these are actually from the World Championship. So these were really cool too. Let's see, we have a couple of them, but these are from the 2009 Championship and the 2008. And if you look right here, it looks like it should be signed by the artist, which is super cool. We have a Team Magma's Agron. I haven't seen like a lot of these cards. This Ralts actually, I definitely used to have when I was younger. We have some vintage Japanese, which is really cool. A Mincino, some more vintage Japanese. A Toxicroak G, which is cool. Then we have a Zerua and we have a Zigzagoon, which is a really cool Pokemon. And the Claydol level 45, which this is another world championship card. And this was one of the ones that was reprinted in Celebrations, actually, now that I'm looking at it. We actually had the Ball Toy to go with it, too. That's really cool. Voltorb, which is super cool. I'm actually not sure what this is, but that's awesome. We have Brock and Blaine. And I don't know why this is backwards. Ooh, but we do have a Base Set 2 Clefairy, so we can actually look at the condition. And the front of it looks a bit scratched up, unless it's a top loader. But yeah, no, it's definitely it's definitely a little scratched up, which is OK on the hollow. But this is just super cool. Oh, yeah, it's very whitened on the back. I bought this because I knew I purchased that bigger collection and I just wanted to see how something smaller would stack up against it. So this is super cool, really awesome to look at, but nothing too incredible to write home about. Next, we have this $60 mystery box, which actually was made by Dustymon, which is really cool. We have the BOD, which he won't tell anybody what it is. There's a mint 10 card. I believe it's all PSA. And then it's going to have two booster packs as well. So we can see what's in here. He said that he went for a more simplistic design so that it would be, you know, a little bit easier to make. And he wanted to focus on the quality of what is inside, which I think is what makes a box. I don't know how this is going to be. OK, so we do have a lot of stuff. Um, is this the back of the card? So we can do a little reveal. It's a modern card, it looks like. But we do have Scarlet Violet and XY Primal Clash. So actually, we'll start with the X and Y Primal Clash. I wasn't really collecting cards at this time. Same thing with like the Sun and Moon era. Um, I more got into it with Sword and Shield. Um, but I know that these just have some beautiful arts. We have a Weedle, a Spiel, a Bidoof, a Flygon Reverse Hollow, and a Flygon Hollow. Look at that. That's actually really cool. So yeah, this was $60. He said that he has a ceiling for both a like higher end and lower end to this because, you know, he has to make some money too. Scarlet and Violet coming up. Um, but no matter what, I mean, this is just a really cool concept and there's packs in it. So you can obviously pull some heat. Hopefully we'll pull some heat right now with a Growlithe of a room and a Mouscarada. So I believe he might have actually sold out of these, but he does plan on doing more in the future. But we do have a PSA graded slab right here. So let's see what card it is. I don't know how I'm going to be able to do this best. Let's cover up the grade. Ooh, an Alcremi Rainbow Rare. That's really cool. I'm going to guess that this is a 10, which it obviously is. But that's really cool from Shining Fates. I like that a lot. I'm always looking to add to my slabs and I do plan on doing a PSA grading like submission. So be on the lookout for that. But this is really cool to add for, to it for now. And here we have it, our last collection. This is at least $1,100 from what we found. We tallied up only any card that was over $20. But let's break this open without doxing myself. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, so we have it right here, and it's just a bunch of different bubble mailers. That's how he said that he was going to ship it because it was just easier. But there is a lot of cards in here. So we have six of these. I guess let's dig in. I'm really excited to see these in person. I saw pictures of it, and like obviously, I knew that there was some cool stuff. I knew what I was buying, but now we get to see the condition of everything. And there's a lot of cards. Like I said, I missed out on a lot of the Sun and Moon era. That this is where a lot of these cards are. Like, he sold me like there's a bunch of full arts in here. So this is more recent. So this should be from Battle Styles. Oh, actually, no, these are the gold cards. So they're not from Battle Styles. The Trainer Gallery, I believe, is from Lost Origin. I could be wrong, though. Uh, but the Urshifu cards did initially come in Battle Styles. Um, but we have a bunch of character rares, a Guzman Hala. So this is a really cool card, and I've seen it used a lot in the gym leader challenge that Tricky Gym, like they have that format. Uh, Austin Mahone made that up. It's a really cool way to play the game. 
and this is like one of their staple cards and the full art just so so nice so we have another rapid strike mustard we have some gold cards uh, this is actually a card that i was chasing for a long time same thing with the inteleon super nice cards we have a nice stadium the octillery i used to love using this card in a malamar deck we have another gold bird so i think we have two of them now yeah so maybe we'll buy the third and Try to sell it as a set, even though I just knocked all those cards down. Okay, so we have the artillery and then we have a Caitlyn. So these full art cards are actually going for a huge price right now. The waifu cards are like seeing such massive increase in price, which is one reason that I jumped on this too. We have the Arita, Full Art Clara, Melanie, Marnie's Pride, and an Arizu, which are all really, really nice. We can move into our next one. So here we go. We have more trainer gallery cards. This Hoodoo is actually a really nice card. I do like that one a lot. Well, Galarian Zapdos V, I don't even think I saw that in the collection. So he might have even thrown some more stuff in. This Mimikyu is actually going for a very like solid price in Japan. Uh, I don't know how it'll do in English. This Magnemite's beautiful. Uh, we have some stuff that is backwards. Okay, <laughs> we'll take that. Flannery. A Shauna, Zinnia's Resolve. This Luminion V Alt Art is insane. These cards are so sick. I can't wait to tally all this up. Pokemon Center Lady, Anessa, Bird Keeper, Kabu, Opal, which actually I just pulled a different Opal, the one from the Galarian Gallery, I believe it is. The Elf Lithograph. I've never seen this card and I thought that it was so cool. I was really excited to actually see this in person. This is from 2010 and I feel like it would be from like Heart Gold and Soul Silver, but I'm actually not too sure. I'd have to look that up. Rose of Giovanni's Exile, which is cool. The Sharon Care is one of like my favorite cards in the TCG because I use a deck that actually utilizes this card. And let's see. So I've never seen this card in person either. This Exadrill. This art is just so nice. A nice Western vibe. We have a Steelix, a Stoutland, a Dusknor. I've seen that. The Octillery is really nice. Sekrom, Vaporeon. Oh, we actually have the three OGs. This is really cool. Gary's with all of them. Or I guess your rival. I don't know if it's Gary, but I would I call him Gary. Fiplup's really, really nice. I like this one a lot. All right, and here we go, just as I'm talking about it. This Pikachu, which I actually did buy in another challenge video, which is really cool. This goes along with the Piplup. I believe they're from the same set. Yeah, so they have actually the same symbol, which is so cool. I love this like little combo a lot. Now, the whole reason that I actually bought this collection off of a friend is because I wanted to start a new venture on YouTube. As you can see, the end of this shows off some amazing cards. Like I said, the Sun and Moon era is incredible. And in this upcoming series, I'm focused on Pokemon sales. Let me know in the comments if you think I've evaluated these collections properly, because the prices that I put for these boxes are about what I think I can get in resale. But for now, if you like any of these cards like this Mewtwo and Mew GX, I highly suggest that you go and check out my other social media pages, which are linked in my description. As of the day this video is posted, the posts of the sale have been up for about two weeks, but there are still plenty of cards to get. I'm really excited to show you what we have in store in this new series, so if you haven't already, please be sure to hit that like and subscription button like I asked you to earlier, because that would really mean a lot. And hey, just for following along on this journey, you'll be the first people to know when these awesome alternate cards and gold cards and everything in between goes for sale. But hey, I appreciate you watching. I'll catch you in the next video.